Botswana versus Namibia. Which country is better? Botswana, officially known as the Republic of Botswana, is a landlocked country in southern Africa. The Kalahari Desert covers up to 70% of Botswana's land area, making it topographically flat. South Africa borders it on the south and southeast, Namibia on the west and north, and Zimbabwe on the northeast. It is connected to Zambia by the Kazangula Bridge, which spans the Zambezi River. Botswana has a population of little over 2.3 million inhabitants, making it one of the world's most sparsely populated countries. Gaborom, the country's capital and largest city, has a population of 11.6%. It was one of the poorest countries in the world in the late 1960s, with a GDP per capita of roughly 70 US dollar per year. It has since progressed to become an upper-middle-income country with one of the world's fastest-growing economies. Namibia, on the other hand, is a South African country legally known as the Republic of Namibia. Its western border is formed by the Atlantic Ocean. Zambia and Angola border it on the north, Botswana on the east, and South Africa on the south and east. The Botswana and right bank of the Zambezi River separates the two countries by fewer than 200 meters, while not bordering Zimbabwe. Namibia declared independence from South Africa on March 21, 1990, following the Namibian War of Independence. The capital and largest city of Namibia is Windhoek. Namibia is a member of the United Nations, the Southern African Development Community, the African Union, and the Commonwealth of Nations. Thank you for taking the time to join us. Today, we're comparing Botswana and Namibia to see who is the superior country. We'll compare and contrast the two countries based on geography and terrain, infrastructure, tourism, and a variety of other factors. As the comparison continues, stay tuned to Africa Reloaded. The Population Botswana Homo sapiens initially arrived in the country about 200,000 years ago. The Tiswana ethnic group is largely descended from Bantu-speaking tribes who migrated southward from Africa to modern-day Botswana around 600 AD and settled in tribal enclaves to farm and herd cattle. The territory was colonized by the British in 1885, and Betuaneland was created as a protectorate. As a result of decolonization, Betuaneland became an independent Commonwealth Republic under its current name on September 30, 1966. It has been a representative republic since at least 1998, with an uninterrupted record of democratic elections and the lowest perceived level of corruption in Africa. Namibia Namibia's indigenous peoples include Vasan, Ovachimba, Ovatu, and Ovahimba, as well as a range of other groups such as the Damara and Nama. These indigenous peoples together make up about 8% of the country's total population, which was 2,630,073 in 2020, fat geography and topography. Country size Botswana With a total area of 581,730 square kilometers, Botswana is larger than California, but smaller than Texas, and larger than France, but smaller than Ukraine, 224,610 square miles. It is the world's 48th largest country in terms of land area. Botswana is generally flat, with a few hills in the southeast, the eastern edge of the Kalahari Basin. The semi-arid Kalahari Desert covers around 70% of Botswana's area. The Kalahari is characterized as a desert due to its vast sand-covered surface area, which gets about 500 millimeters of rain per year in the wettest areas. Namibia With an area of 825, 1,615 square kilometers, Namibia is the world's 34th largest country due to its location between the Namib and Kalahari deserts. Namibia receives the least rainfall of any country in sub-Saharan Africa. Namibia's terrain is divided into five geographical areas, the Central Plateau, the Namib, the Great Escarpment, the Bushveld, and the Kalahari Desert. Each has its own set of abiotic conditions and vegetation, However, there is considerable overlap and variance. The central plateau is defined by the skeleton coast to the northwest, the Namib Desert and its coastal plains to the southwest, the Orange River to the south, and the Kalahari Desert to the east. Namibia's tallest peak, Konigstein, is located on the central plateau at 2,606 meters above sea level. 
infrastructural development. Botswana. Infrastructure has contributed a net gain of little over two percentage points to Botswana's improved per capita growth performance in recent years. Raising the country's infrastructure to that of the region's middle-income countries might boost annual growth by 1.2 percentage points. Botswana has undertaken significant infrastructure improvements in the fields of transportation, water and sanitation, power, and telecommunications in recent years. The country, however, nevertheless has a lot of serious infrastructure problems. The most pressing is in the power sector, where a shortage of generation capacity and insufficient power supply have left the country economically and financially vulnerable, exposing the economy to power price shocks and load shedding. Namibia Namibia has a well-developed road network. The bulk of towns and localities are connected by a network of quality gravel trunk, main, and district road networks totaling 48,117 kilometers, including 4,500 kilometers of tarred roads. The road network connects Angola, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Botswana, and South Africa. Private bus services run between Windhoek and Cape Town, Johannesburg, Victoria Falls, and Swakopmund, despite Namibia's absence of an official public transit system. Major sub-Saharan cities like as Cape Town, International flights are available between Hosea Kutako International Airport in Windhoek and Frankfurt. Namibia Airports Company is in charge of developing and managing the country's airports. Regular regional flights are operated by a number of privately owned domestic charter companies. Government and Politics Botswana Botswana has a multi-party system and is governed by a parliamentary representative democratic republic with the president of Botswana serving as both the head of state and the head of government. Executive power is in the hands of the government. Botswana's administration and parliament both have legislative authority. The Botswana Democratic Party has dominated the party system since independence, never losing power. Both the executive and legislative branches are separated from the judiciary. Botswana is a multi-party democracy with a constitution. Every election has been held on time, and in a free and fair manner, since the country's independence in September 1966. Other minorities, as well as the country's small white minority, are free to participate in politics. There are two main opposing political parties, as well as a few minor ones. At the absolute least, general elections are held every five years. Namibia Namibia is a unitary republic with a semi-presidential representative democratic government. Namibia's president is the country's head of state and administration and is elected for a five-year term. All members of the government are accountable to the legislature, both individually and collectively. According to the country's constitution, the following are the government's organs. Executive power is exercised by the president and the government. Namibia's legislature is bicameral, with the lower house being the National Assembly and the upper body being the National Council. Namibia has a judicial system that enforces the law on behalf of the government. Despite the fact that Namibia's constitution mandates a multi-party system, the SWAPO party has been in power since the country's independence in 1990. Tourism Botswana Botswana's game reserves, which offer hunting and photography safaris, are the country's principal tourism attractions. During the rainy season, the Okavango Delta region, which is a network of canals, islands, and lakes, is another attraction. The tourist industry provided 23,000 jobs to Botswana's economy in 2005, diversifying the country's economy away from traditional sources like diamonds and beef. Botswana's tourism business flourished in the 1990s as a result of favorable geopolitical conditions. Southern Africa experienced political stability with the end of apartheid, and Nelson Mandela's release from prison in 1990. At the time, global improvements in transportation and communication networks made tourism in Botswana more viable. Namibia Namibia's tourism industry is considerable, contributing 7.2 billion Namibian dollars to the country's GDP. Every year, over 1 million tourists visit Namibia, with around one-third coming from South Africa, Germany, the United Kingdom, Italy, and France. Ecotourism highlights Namibia's vast biodiversity, 
making it one of Africa's most popular tourist destinations. In December 2010, Lonely Planet listed Namibia as the world's fifth most valuable tourist destination. Nightlife Botswana The bulk of people get up early in the morning, therefore Gaborone's nightlife is small. It includes a cinema and a cultural center that offers theater performances, as well as a few bars and eateries. Some bars provide live music performances during weekends. Namibia the Warehouse Theatre is the most well-known nightlife venue in Namibia, and it is located in Windhoek. With a nearly 300-seat theatre and a 600-seat standing theatre, this location's construction is immense. In the area, there is also a tavern that hosts live music on a regular basis. In Namibia, Double MT is a popular destination for overnight stays. There are two dance floors, a shisha lounge, a sports bar, and a large restaurant at this social club. You can go anywhere from here if you want to have a fantastic night. Relax with an endless vista in front of you. Swakopmund is also one of the places in Namibia where you may have a good time at night. Both Botswana and Namibia are fascinating places, and deciding which is superior will be easy from the above facts. Botswana is my pick. How about you? Thank you for taking the time to watch this Africa Reloaded video. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more Africa-related content. And do not forget to turn on your notification icon.